Okay, we are back with the lady and the tiger. Um, we are, we know that the man is on trial. He's looking, remember, at the two doors. Uh, one has a lady in it, one has a tiger in it. Um, we have learned he's in love with the princess, and the king said, uh, no, I don't think so. And so, basically, um, he knows that the princess knows which door has the lady, whom he will have to marry immediately, or, and which door has the tiger, uh, which will eat him. So, basically, he is trying to, um, I think, rationalize some of this. So, in his quick, intense look, asked the question, which? It was as clear to her as if he shouted it from where he stood. There was not time to be lost. The princess raised her hand and made a short, quick movement toward the right. No one but her saw it. Every eye put his, uh, but his was fixed on the man in the arena. He turned and with a firm and quick step, he walked across the empty space. Every heart beating, every breath was held. Every eye was fixed upon that man. He went to the door on the right and opened it. So every eye, every breath, every eye, every. So it's showing how everybody is, you know, a part of this and how it's going. So now the point of this story is this. Did the tiger come out of that door or did the lady? The more we think about this question, the harder it is to answer. It involves a study of the human heart. Think of it not as if the decision of the question depended upon yourself, but as if it depended upon that hot-blooded princess, which means like angry. Hot-blooded means you're like mad. Her soul at a white heat under the fires of sadness and jealousy. So she's under the fires of that. She had lost him, but who should have him? How often in her waking hours and in her dreams had she started had she started in wild terror and covered her face with her hands? She thought of her love opening the door on the other side of which waited the sharp teeth of the tiger. But how much oftener had she seen him open the other door? How had she ground her teeth and torn her hair when she had seen his happy face as he opened the door of the lady? How her soul had burned in pain when she had seen him run to meet that woman with her look of victory. When she had seen the two of them get married and when she had seen them walk away together upon their path of flowers, followed by the happy shouts of the crowd in which her one sad cry was lost. Her one sad cry. Hmm. So it's saying she was dreaming about both, like having nightmares about him getting eaten by the tiger, but also nightmares about him marrying this other woman. So would it not be better for him to die quickly and go to wait for her in that blessed place of the future, like whatever your afterlife is? And yet that tiger, those cries, that blood, her decision had been shown quickly but it had been made after days and nights of thought. She had known she would be asked and she had decided what she would answer and she had moved her hand to the right. The question of her decision is one not to be lightly considered and it is not for me to set myself up as the one person able to answer it. And so I leave it with all of you, which came out of the open door, the lady or the tiger? And so as you consider that question, it's that idea of um, what drives a person. You know, here she was super jealous and super, you know, she did not want him with another person, another woman, but she also doesn't want to watch him get eaten. So is it the fires of sadness and jealousy that won out in the end and therefore she sent out a tiger? Or was it her idea of how much she loved him in the first place and um, how, he, how she knew that he was kind of relying on her and therefore she um, had him go with the lady and... Um, is it better to have the person you love marry someone else or better for them to get to marry no one? 
I guess therein lies that um, question. And in fact, over here in the white space, could you jot down some thoughts that you have about um, where or who you think, I mean, who or what you think came out of that door? And um, yes, this is how the story. 